Hello again from Central Virginia. Two more days before Thanksgiving. And I may have mentioned that Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday because it's all about food and family and friends, all good stuff, right? I have a plethora, a whole lot of pumpkin. And I thought this year I would make a pumpkin soup. I'm doing this with pumpkin because I have a lot of pumpkin, number one. And number two, I want that little extra sweetness um, and complexity that uh, pumpkin gives you. I'm going to be putting into this soup some saffron and also some roasted garlic and that and also a little bit of honey at the end, which is really going to pull out some of those flavors. And, and I just think the pumpkin is going to meld beautifully with those flavors. So let's get started. One of the great things about a pumpkin soup, a butternut squash soup, practically any soup, is that you can make it ahead of time and the flavors will improve usually over a couple of days. There are a fair number of ingredients and steps in this soup. So the first thing you're going to need, of course, is pumpkin. And this is about, this is like about six to eight cups of pumpkin. I roasted it and it's been pureed, although you don't have to puree it at this point. You can just have the roasted pumpkin in chunks. Um, you also are going to need about a one large sweet potato, which yields about two cups or a cup, a cup and a half to two. I have two large onions chopped roughly and coarsely here. I have also chopped up three um, cloves of garlic roughly, and I have taken about six cloves of garlic and roasted them. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute how to do that. This has saffron in it, and I've taken the saffron and just soaked it and let it steep in some warm water for, for a little while. And you're also going to need coriander, cumin, some turmeric, and some salt. You're also going to need either chicken, uh, chicken broth or vegetable broth, or you could even use water. I'm going to be making this for a crowd, so I'm going to use three quarts of the chicken broth. I think the roasted garlic really sets off this soup. Um, to roast the garlic, you're going to do this ahead of time. Take the whole cloves of garlic. You're not going to peel them or anything. I usually put, the, put them in aluminum foil and I put a small layer, I put a small layer of olive oil on that aluminum foil, and then I just bundle it up in a package. I let that roast for about 15 minutes on 400. And then when it comes out of the oven, I carefully open up the foil. You just take the cloves and you, you smush the pulp out of it. And it's, it comes into a lovely little paste like thing and it smells really good. If you've never had roasted garlic, it's sweet. It actually um, loses a lot of the sharp edge and it gives this nice, really rich, um, almost sweet flavor. It's delicious. Here we go. I'm going to coat the bottom of the pan with olive oil. I've just, I've got a hot pan here. It's over medium heat and I'm going to put in first off the onions. I'm going to cook those around over this heat for maybe three or four minutes. Next, we're gonna put in the raw garlic and we're just gonna stir that around, let it cook for oh, a few seconds. Next come the spices. Let's start with two and a half teaspoons of cumin. Again, you know me, I like to layer in my spices. Here comes the coriander, one heaping teaspoon of coriander. These are not precise measurements and we will taste the soup as it goes along. This is um, turmeric, heaping teaspoon of turmeric. These ingredients are all really good for you. So you don't feel guilty at Thanksgiving eating piles of this soup. Although I'm really just going to be, this is salt going in. I'm just going to be serving small bowls of this because Thanksgiving is such a huge feast just to wet the appetite a little bit. Let's stir that around. Now I'm gonna add the sweet potatoes in. I'll let this cook together for about five minutes. Next, in comes the broth or liquid. Whatever broth you're using, I'm using chicken broth. Now I'm going to add in all of that pumpkin. We'll bring all this up to a boil together. This is going to be a gorgeous color. I almost forgot. Let's go ahead and add that saffron. Some sticks to the side. You just add a little water. There we go. 
don't want to waste a bit of that saffron. Huge pot of soup for my 14 people. When the soup begins to boil, just turn it back and bring it down, bring the temperature down, and you're going to cover it and you're going to cook it until those sweet potatoes are tender. Add in the roasted garlic towards the end. Also add about two to three tablespoons of honey. Turn off the heat, then when cooler, blend it with an immersion blender, food processor, or blender. So once you have made your soup, delicious, pour out a little bit and taste it to adjust any spices. Mm, mine's perfect. I did add about two more teaspoons full of the cumin and about another teaspoon, oh, hello Tiberius, <laughs> full of, and another teaspoon full of coriander in addition to a little bit more salt. So make it how you like it. When you're ready to serve it, pull it out, heat it up, and add the squeeze of a lime into it just before you serve it. It'll give that soup a little extra sparkle. Mr. Tiberius, you need to jump down. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great holiday. Take care. Bye.